team member preview night. We're going to give you a full review of HHN 32. Houses, food, everything. Everybody in this video tonight, me and Jess included. And it starts. It officially starts. Dr. Oddfellow is actually out here. Can I take a picture? Hello, Dr. Oddfellow. Hello, my friend. How and how are you? Are you? I'm excellent. How are you? What happens on this night of darkness? Dark Go enjoy is... your time. You Go inside say. and see what we have in store for Will you. Will do. <laughs> he looks amazing. He sounds amazing. Everything about him is what you want in. Dr. Oddfellow. Oh man. Like you can see, he's just out here interacting with everybody. This is awesome. Entering the Zodiac Zone. Zodiac Zone is really good. I didn't think there was going to be much to it this year because during the day it looks empty. They bring out a massive crop during nighttime. Okay. Chainsaw Zone is also Zodiac Zone. They got Zodiac chainsaws. They really and, do. They have yeah. full Zodiac signs on the chainsaws. Yeah. It's amazing. But. And actually, the Zodiac theme kind of carries. Like, it does. It carries throughout the whole park, and we're, we're going to show you guys that too. But if you can see behind us as well, this is Melps. Not this year. Not though. this year. It's not Melps dying. It's dark. That right there is probably one of the creepiest shots ever. <laughs> yeah. Going into the jungle scare zone now. Actually pretty impressed by this. I know that I had some things to say about it before, but they, it, at nighttime, it's there. Things living in the trees. The Jumanji dude over here. The Jumanji music playing as well. This way. We have a mystery Fanta at the Coke Freestyle Machines right now, and we did get it. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna see what this is. So go on, Jess. What is it? It's a mystery. 
mystery. Is it mystery? <laughs> Not bad though. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me see if I can figure it out. That is a mystery. <laughs> There's like so many flavors going on in this thing at one yeah, time. Exactly. It's good though, it's really good. Fresh plane over here with the parachute up in the sky. <laughs> Some rats on the uh, fire over here. Those are the bats up here that we showed you during the day. The jungle scare zone there. Um, if you want to 100 percent more impressed than I was during the day, like um, the, yeah, everything came together. It came together really well at nighttime. I like the fact that they put all those red lights in the trees. It's amazing. Like the creatures, like they're jungle giant bug creatures. Awesome. They're awesome. Like I, I, I like. It's not one of my favorite ones, but I definitely have a new outlook on that one. So there is a house that's down here by the entrance to ET. You've got to walk through these construction rails to get to it, and it's actually the Universal Monster House. For us, it's a 20-minute wait, so they're saying it's a 20-minute wait. I don't think it's going to be that long. But, Jess and I are going to take full advantage of all these houses tonight because of the low waits. We're taking advantage of all the houses tonight, which means we can give you a full review of the houses. We can't film in the houses, but we can tell you what we thought of them. <laughs> this is the one that you were hyped for? Alright, cool. So the one I'm hyped for is actually the Dueling Dragon House. That's, yeah. It's it, Alright, it's it's a ride. Let's, let's be honest. Like, I'm a sucker for it. And it's a roller coaster, right? So, but I'm starting to get dizzy because of all these switchbacks. So we're going through the ET switchback. And I'm trying to keep going here with you guys. So this way you see where this line actually goes because of the construction going on over here in Fiverr. And yeah, right through the ET cube. And we're gonna go behind ET now and backstage. So you see Universal Monsters House. One thing too is you actually exit through the queue line of ET as well. This way you know that as well. But, but that house is so awesome. There's so much gore in there. I knew it was going to be my favorite one, and even though it's the only one I've been in so far, I'm calling it right now favorite. It was one. really cool. There um, were a few scenes in there that were yeah. just kiss. Love it. Dude. I want to say one thing, but it's going to give stuff yeah. away, and I'm not going to. Yeah, but it's amazing. It's a lot of gore in there. There's in the balance. The balance of the characters. Is there? It's unlike the other houses. Yeah, we're, it's we're great. Too much of this, too much of that. Right? No, it's it's even right there. We're gonna go get some food now, I think, and we're gonna move on to the next houses. We're gonna keep going. This is not over. We're far from over. We have food. This food smells so good. I, I guarantee it. So, all right, here, we got some carnival-like food. And it was like the shortest line because I think everybody's scared to try it. Yeah, but <laughs> we had to because... So, these are sour apple 
funnel cake. Right. So there's fun, there's apple pie filling and sour apple ice cream with streusel on top of it with funnel cake fries. And this is the Carn Evil hot dog with Kool-Aid pickles, uh, crispy onions on it. And no, that's not crispy. That's potato chips. Well, it, yeah, that's, they're like yeah. potato sticks. Yeah. Yeah. There's bubblegum some some kind of bubblegum something what was it i it, it's just something yeah. bubblegum flavor and a so confetti there's like a confetti roll yeah this is gonna be crazy yeah yeah <laughs> and look at the size of that hot dog though like it's it's pretty big like jess and i are gonna split it and that's pretty big for the both of us and then we got these oh yeah we're good uh the, the freeze pop stands right there that booth right there is where we went to go get this stuff it's right here in music plaza all right, I've literally had some really good hot dogs in my life. This. So the hot dog is pink, I think. Fuchsia. <laughs> I can't even. That's crazy. That's crazy. This by far is the best hot dog I've ever had. This is the best fair food I've had. Jess and I are suckers for fair food. It's really good. It's so like, good. First bite, you're a little like, oop, I don't know what's coming. <laughs> yeah, but. It works, and I don't know why. You need to get this. This is, yeah, you definitely need to get this, because this is amazing. These are really good. Mm-hmm. Funnel cake fries? Let me text you. Yeah. Yeah, you need them. This is what they look like. They are so flavorful, so good. That sour uh, apple ice cream is amazing. It's amazing. We definitely found the food of the year. And like nobody was over here. And yeah, there's know. no line. There was no line. I don't know if they were like, scared to try it because it like it a little Sounds out intimidating, there. yeah. Or if it's because like, I don't know, there's a house over here though. Or like, yeah. there's not a scare zone or anything, you know? So it's themed to the Midway. It's like to the carnival games and stuff that they normally put out here. So, but yeah, you, need, you, you need to eat them. It's so good. Next house we're going into is Blood Moon Dark Offerings. And we will let you know what it is when we get out of there. Welcome this to one, the harvest, everyone! What's going on? Thank you! Welcome, welcome, welcome! See, everybody's into this right now. So this is on the side of where Rocket is and everything else like that. And we'll let you know how this is when we get out. Blood Moon, we need to talk. We need to talk. 100% need to talk. Holy shit. Holy shit. I got goosebumps walking out of that right now, and that was amazing. So we need to go. We need to pull to the side right now. We need to talk about this. That was amazing. Blood Moon, the harvest in there is legit. Like it's got Salem witch trial vibes going 100 percent in there. in there there's there's things with pumpkins growing out their heads there's like Blair Witch references in there there's I freaking love that house amazing amazing I, I, I really want to tell you guys more but I don't want to really spoil it but yeah <laughs> Watch the bell towers, that's all I'm saying. Next house we're going into is the Exorcist house. Um, this is from the new movie coming out. Really curious to see what this is. Right now for us, it's a 10 minute wait. Um, the wait times I'm telling you right now, don't go by them because they're not gonna be what you guys are gonna have. Like I said, Team Member Nights is a great night for us to come here and literally see what it is and let you guys know what houses you should really check out. This is right here in Music Plaza, as you can tell. With all these switchbacks uh, in here going in. When we get out, again, 
we will let you know what we think of it. The Exorcist. Exorcist kids in. They legit brought in kid people who look like kids for the role of that. We were doing it before. I know, like, we are more getting on it late, so we would have some like, young volunteers on the weekend. Right. But no, there's no volunteers here, though. We just had people that were on the weekend. That was amazing. Like, I can't wait to see that movie now from that from what I've seen in there. It's you literally went through hell. Okay? You went through hell. Stranger things right now. Um, this should be interesting to see what this is. Right? Are you are you We've watched Stranger Things. So we should be, yeah, we know what's going on in here. We should well, we should know what's going on in here. So We'll let you know when we get out uh, what we think of it and what you should expect as well. Stranger Things, it was a bust. Um, there's some good, there's some good... There's a couple good scenes and like, it's... I mean, it follows the... The Vecna story. That season was just such a long time ago that I feel like maybe a lot of the specifics I probably don't Yeah, remember. but like the whole, like the Eddie stuff anyway, and, and all that. it wasn't like, like as scary no. as the other houses, for sure. I mean, it was one of those like visually cool to look at kind yeah. of deals. Yeah. But yeah, like there was one scene where it was like things were glowing and stuff. Like it was really cool for that, but but scare wise, it just wasn't. And I don't know, like it wasn't at the level of the other ones. That I didn't. So I also far. felt that it really wasn't on the level that a Stranger Things house should be at. Like I was honestly, for me, me personally, I can't speak for Jess. I was expecting a lot more from it. Like I really was expecting a lot more. I was expecting, I expected it to be like at the level that the Beetlejuice house was, as far as like right. Right. Perfection. Um, I hear the previous houses for Stranger Things were better. That, that's what I was expecting to come into this. Like that, I hear that they, they Universal kicked ass with the Stranger Things houses in the past. I didn't and feel that. So for Stranger Things, it's going to be one of the ones that you're going to wait the longest for. Yeah. In my opinion, I would If you can skip it, or you have well, to skip it's a something. It's choice that you have to make. Skip that one. I'm gonna go through the Yeti house first because it's at a 15 minute wait for us, and then the uh, Dueling Dragon house is right next to it, which is at a 45 for us right now. So we're gonna get this. We'll let you know what they are about. Check that. All the zodiac signs, like we were talking about. All right, Ben 69. What's stuff going on around here? The biker gangs is coming. Take over everything, which are vampires. Destroyed the whole concert.
69 right now. What, now? what do you think of uh -oh. that scare zone <laughs> of Van 69? <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, like I said, honestly, it grew on me. It did. Like, I feel like maybe the backstory. like a vampire track you like get little people like like vampires like chasing it seems more like camp or yeah I guess yeah music like festival. camp slasher yeah like it works I love it it's good I really I, people, I like see, it the thing is the scare zone always has great actors in it and, and it they, always they has they good always music over it, here too yeah and this is very very like popular music to the time and it's like it's people good. walking it's, through it's, with it's, Sweet Caroline and then... It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Like, like, honestly, like, I can't wait to see what happens off of a team member night when Sweet Caroline comes on. <laughs> I literally filmed it purposely for you guys to see what was going on. <laughs> it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. I loved it. Skipping by Chucky right now as well. Uh, Chucky and Dueling Dragons are two that we haven't done yet. We're going to walk down and keep going through scare zones. Next scare zone is uh, the San Francisco area one. This one should be interesting to see in its run because it was running really well earlier when we went through it. It looks amazing in there. It's really cool. Right, it really is. It looks 
check really out, cool. Check that out live. Yeah, it's on the live stream. We were in there on the live stream. So again, go check that out for it and for David S. Pumpkins as well. This haunted house is going to be the Dr. Oddfellows Oddity Home. Uh, it's a 15 minute wait for us right now. So again, when we get out of there, we'll let you know what it is. Uh, we still owe you an explanation for Yeti. We did that one, so we'll get to that later on. Uh, we want to see if we're going to do Dueling Dragons first, and then we'll do them both together, being that they're together. There is a legit circus tent back here for the Dr. Otello's house. What is this? We just got out of Dr. Oddfellows. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Mind blowing. Like, honestly, when I say mind blowing, it really was. It was awesome. Yeah, I like this. So, that may be the number one. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very classic, very vintage, very, like, creepy it's like sideshow. It's weird. I like yeah. it. <laughs> so, we're going into the, what is this one? Darkest Souls, the Darkest Sound. The Darkest, the darkest dark, Deal. The Darkest Deal, okay. So that's what we're going into now, and we'll let you know how it is. Darkest Deal. It was okay. It was good. I liked it. You liked it? Yeah? It made me uncomfortable in like the best possible way. I don't know like, what it was about. Okay. What I thought it was like. Funny, but, like, the so the story of know. it is, it's like a musician, like trying to sell his soul to the devil to become famous, <laughs> and everything goes to hell, literally, from that point on. Like, there's so much smells in there. It's that awesome. Is the See, we're up, you know how you know, like that. <laughs> Jess doesn't like smells. I love when they do that. Especially like, especially when it's like a little too. Like the, the smell I'm talking about, it was like dirt, okay? It's dirt. You smell dirt. You're yeah. literally buried well, alive. There were a couple of houses like that, though. Exorcist yeah. had. Oh. Exorcist was that, yes. Yeah, um, See, that one I got used to after a second because it was kind of patchouli ish or some sort of like yeah. incense of like. Uh, some kind of ritual. Behind like, it, like yeah. that made it. Like if I just focused on that smell, I could like. <laughs> right. I don't know. I, I like the smells in the houses. She hates it, so I don't know. Do some, I mean, a lot of the home haunts we do, they just like go. Oh, the so home haunts go way, overboard. way too overboard, and, and some it, of them are just like grotesque. It's like challenging for me to like stay in them. Um, the yeah, some of the home haunts that we've been to, it's they, they, they want to make you throw up. So. Yeah. But that was awesome. I like that one. So yeah, that one was fun though. Oh, and Yeti, we haven't talked about Yeti yet. No, we have not talked about it. You want to talk about Yeti now? We can talk about Yeti now. <laughs> so Yeti was uh, interesting. So, it's not the most terrifying house. No. I mean, some of the Yetis are pretty creepy looking, but you know what you're getting into, you know. Um, it's, it's a camp, fun. it's, it's a you're out there yeah. camping in the woods and a Yeti comes and attacks you. There you go, there's your story. Um, it's, it's, it's a good filler house is what we said it was. Right? It was fun, it was. I, I would do it again. So, there's not much to the Yeti house, unfortunately. I can't, I really can't, like, right? I mean, it's a Yeti. We're gonna hit Chucky up right now. And, and we're trying to aim to get into Dueling Dragons as one of our last ones here. It's almost one o'clock now and this event ends at 1 p.m. Uh, 1 a.m. for us. So we're trying. We're trying here the best we can. So that means we would only have a few houses left to do. That, that would be Last of Us. And I think that would be it. Chucky. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Um, it's Chucky Ultimate Kill Count. It should be Chucky's Ultimate Kill Museum. Like I really felt I was walking through a museum of Chucky's kills and then like weird Chucky things thrown in there too. It was good. I'm not complaining. It's fun, yeah. It was like it's a legit like haunted like fun house. 
so there's moments you're gonna be like, oh jeez, and then that's awesome and you're gonna find yourself laughing. So that's what that's all it is. Do it! So it's time that we go and choose our faith between fire and ice. We're going to Duel and Dragons Haunted House. I'm I'm blown right now that this this is even a thing, that this is even happening, like that anybody even thought of this. We have a picture on television. Yeah, we we do. We actually do have a picture. Well we actually have pictures of dueling dragons as well. Do we? Oh yeah. Yeah, well it was um it wasn't dueling dragons, it was uh the next name Harry of it. Potter. The Harry Potter one, yeah. <laughs> Same ride though. But we have pictures of it. If you guys want to see pictures of it sometime, let me know. I'll pull them out and uh, show you guys. But I'm I'm hyped for this one. So I'm going to let you know how it is when I get out. Some people have told me good things about it. Some people say it kind of follows the ride. We'll let you know. That's a uh, team member previews for you. Yeah, we view you. And honestly, from when we first started with the uh, updates on the channel to now, like honestly, I think our opinion on the whole thing has changed dramatically. I mean, really dramatically. Yeah. So it is an amazing event this year, 100%. Definitely be back to here. Um, yeah, yeah, awesome. We're probably, honestly, you guys expect more. That's all I'm saying. Expect more. A lot of the houses, like, this is probably one of the better house, uh, years that we've been here, is that the houses were legit. So, I think the what? Dragons was awesome. Oh, yeah. Dragons, <laughs> thank you, Jess. Dragons, amazing. Amazing. You're going to go in there and you're going to remember so much of the ride, so many throwbacks to it, it's awesome. And the end, you'll literally have to choose your own fate at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the maze. So you're going to go fire or ice? I'll tell you right now, we went ice, that's all I'm saying. Dr. Oddfellow is an amazing asset to this year's event. Amazing character, amazing scare zones, everything about it, you're not going to be disappointed. The only thing we didn't do was The Last of Us. And I'm okay with that because I'm hearing from other people that I know who were there, went through it, they were like, eh. So, everything else we went through was okay. The food? What we had to eat tonight was <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Like you gotta be brave to eat it, but it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, 100%. I mean, some of the food options Jess and I were questioning tonight. No, 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 I said every time. There's not really great food options this year. There's a lot we didn't get to go to though. Like, there's that whole trip around the New York. Yeah, we didn't really walk around. We really There's didn't show you guys here, the food so tonight. Didn't get to see, like, um, yes. In this video, we also didn't go through the uh, tribute store. We did go through the tribute store on the live stream that we did from the park. Okay. But my plan is, is we're gonna come back at, at time and actually just do its own video for that. There's enough videos out there. It just opened today. There's enough videos out there right now for it. So. If you really wanted to see it, there's, there's plenty of stuff. Uh, but yeah, we had a great time. Excellent time, actually. So, now to go home and edit this, get this up, in less than 24 hours. Just for you guys. We're out of here, though.